What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Not Go Lie. It's your boy Fritz. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Dapper Dan. You're now tuned into the latest and soon to be the greatest podcast. Bow, yo. It has been extremely slow in Bro, the world of sports. It's so slow. We we contemplated not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I don't even know if I want to do this, but we doing it, it now. Ain't, it ain't shit, but it's the stuff about the coronavirus, uh, the election, and basketball and soccer. Yeah, that's, and, that's it. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it. I really watch this for soccer takes. No, I don't really have any soccer takes to be quite yeah, honest. And I don't think y'all want to hear my my name on versus uh, what's the dude? What's the French dude name? Uh, I don't even know you. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, the young guy, right? Yeah, the young. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's his name. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to pronounce yeah. it. No. No. See, I need to get more versatile. It's, it's crazy because we got a soccer ball and uh. I love them, but we ain't shit. But that's neither here or there. Um, yeah, he's something... not shit. I, I know about soccer. <laughs> but um... <laughs> something that uh, transpired uh, a, a few days ago regarding our lovely, beloved New York Knicks, of course. Um, Spike Lee, who is a staple of the New York Knicks, the same way the colors of blue, orange, and blue and orange are. Like he's might as well be our mascot. Spike Lee is the mascot. Nigga said he's been um, using a specific entrance for 28 years. Mm-hmm. Um, never had any issue. Um, it's like, was like he, he went into specifics, like the street that it was on, but that's neither. I think it was on 33rd. Yeah, some shit like that. No, I think it was on 31st, I think he said. But like he, that. he said that the other day, uh, yeah. well, there was footage of the other day that security, they stopped him. It was like, oh, Mr. Lee, you can't come through here, blah, blah, blah. And it was telling him to get off the elevator. He was like, oh, I'm not getting off the elevator. <laughs> and then when he got on the elevator, he went up. He had mad, He said he had mass security waiting for him. And then he said, and I quote, <laughs> he put his hands behind his back and said, arrest me like my brother Charles Oakley. Gangster. But why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Bro, nobody was trying to take it there, bro. That's the whole thing with this whole situation. Nobody was trying to take it there. Not a soul. Like, the Knicks is mad because he took it someplace it had nowhere. Like, I know if I'm the Knicks PR, I'm like, I have to waste my time on this. Hey, Amen. But at the end of the day, I, I, I felt spikely. Like, you've been literally going through the same entrance for 28 years. That's mad years. You spent over, I think it was like, Two hundred thousand on tickets a year. Like he has spent ten over ten million dollars on Knicks tickets, bro. Ten million dollars cumulatively. That's yeah. mad money, and you're not gonna allow this man to use the entrance that he's been using after he's put so much revenue into the team. Like, and he and said, he sat down. But I'm saying that it was such a big deal, though. Like it was an OD big deal, and it's like if if it's such a big deal where like uh something changed where he has to use another entrance, why not tell him? Like he's been ten million dollars, bro. He yo Spike, you can't use this entrance. I I feel you on the whole like he should have known. Definitely somebody. I feel him on the point where somebody should have definitely told him ahead of time. Like yo, hey, Mister Lee, whether it's email or reach out to him. However, you can contact Spike Lee. I can contact Spike Lee for goddamn. <laughs> but um, said so hey, look. So this this and this change, you can't use this exit. I'm just telling you ahead of time, preparation. I know you're gonna be here at tonight's game. That's it. I feel him on that. But things happen. Whoever didn't do their job didn't do their job properly. There's like a nail hanging out here. Yeah, that that shit just falling apart over there. But um regardless, yeah, whoever didn't do their job properly didn't do their job properly, or they just forgot. And, you know, he got there, there was no entrance in that way for him anymore. I don't feel like it should have been this big ordeal. Like, there's no reason I wake up the next morning. You on first take yelling. Stephen A. Ray does all the yelling in the morning. I don't he need two, I don't need two black men yelling in the morning <laughs> with a stupid ass hat. I hate his winter Nick hats, bro. Oh my like, god, them shits piss me <laughs> off so much. They always have. I hate those hats, bro. I mean, he's like what? I don't even know how old Spike Lee is. He's at least late 60s. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> the, little, the orange cotton ball at the end. Like, that shit pisses me off. Bro, I mean, his whole swag puts me off some days. Yeah, but it does. Terrible. Regardless, I feel like it shouldn't have gotten as far as it did. I feel like what the resolution for me would have been like, I right, let him through this last time. Next going forward, this is what we do. But I don't know. Obviously, as security, you, are, you have a job to do. You can't not do your job just because he's been doing this for umpteen years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know what I'm like saying? You have a job to do. It's whoever just instru- communication. You know? Yeah, I'm just saying. But whoever gives it, he needs to talk to whoever gave that instruction. Which Apparently it was James Dolan. 
And James Dolan was like, I need to talk to you. And he was like, I'm not talking about nothing. And then they said that he didn't shake, like, they didn't shake hands, but they did. Like, the Knicks tweeted out a picture, like, of them shaking. Like, yeah, so, like, I don't I don't know what to believe. I don't. I want to feel Spike, but at the same time, I just feel like if it was just me, I'd have been like, all right, cool, I'm going to go walk around, but just know I'm upset. I just would have made it made it that made that clear. I mean, he did say he's not going for um to any more games this season. See, that's dragged, bro. Like for Why what? Is that drag? I mean, what is he really going there for? Like, I mean, what is he going there for? Uh, there was always been to go there any <laughs> any other time. He's I mean, been spending he, his seven o'clock to nine thirty at, at Madison Square Garden, bad times a week. <laughs> but I mean, if you if you get uh, disrespected, you're not gonna want to go and support a team that doesn't you know show you love. At least I, mean, I wouldn't. I mean, I guess I have a different version of what disrespected means. But that's why I put the you no know, quotation. I mean, yeah, I guess if, if if you feel disrespected, I guess by all means carry out your actions as you feel fit. You know what I'm saying? Just for me, I feel like it was just too over the top, especially for somebody like Spike, who, you know, obviously you're a staple in the next history in Madison Square Garden history. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna go your way. Like he can't publicly disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? But. So yeah. say you you know millionaire your future you got a, a abundance of money coming in are you gonna be that Spike Lee buying you know season tickets mm. no, no it's not happening no you're not gonna be in the game seven and nine nope <laughs> not every night like Spike Spike don't miss a game bro he don't he so, don't yeah, but hey, uh courtside my goodness yeah that, what do you know how much courtside tickets are in MSG? Courtside, yeah depends on who they play yeah. yeah. Like minimum is probably like a G. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For the worst game, that's probably like a minimum. Yeah, like they just don't pay for that anyway. Like, well, most of them. Like, if you see, like, who's somebody like Matt Ringer? Chris Rock? Nah, well, yeah. If you see, like, yeah, Chris Rock, just for sake. Mm. Like, somebody gave him those tickets, like, oh, I got Nick's in the match. Mm. Like, his agency did that with something like that. Mm. I mean, but Chris Rock is a Nick fan. Yeah, that, that's why they want to say Chris Rock. Uh, right, so who's somebody really? Like Megan Stallion. I see. Okay. Well, I see. no. <laughs> she didn't pay for that these days. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely came out of pocket. Yeah, man. If you, if you see Lil Wayne at the mid-game, you didn't pay. More than that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Lil Wayne need to cut that goddamn, that dread, that it's just eggs inside. Need, I hate it. He needs to cut his hair just in general, it. bro. It's, like it's falling out. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, let's let's talk about a little bit of the G League, which we don't usually do. I don't um, think we ever would in any other case <laughs> besides this one. I mean, hey, you know, it, it depends on what's happening in, in that uh, development league. But um, well, What's going on? So the second ball brother, mm-hmm. Leangelo Ball, is uh, he got a, signed to a contract to the OKC affiliate. The OKC Blue. The OKC Blue. Um, how do you feel about that, man? What do you What do you see? I knew he'd work his way into the league somehow. You know what I'm saying? He's obviously gonna be the one just to take the long route, as opposed to his his older and youngest brother. But um, not to be expected. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's not whack. Like he can play basketball. So I mean, I it's to be expected for sure. Um. I'm just interested to see where this goes. I don't know if this goes any further. I'm interested to see what he does. Like, does he move up to an NBA roster maybe next season or mm-hmm. during next season? Or is this just a, you know, G League? Like, I'm just saying, like, I want to see how good he is. I, I hope that he actually gets a chance to show how good he is. You know what I mean? Like, because mm-hmm. for the most part, the teams that he's been a part of, even though he hasn't been the passer or, um, you know, doesn't have the, the vision or IQ that his brothers have, you know he's more of a bulky player. He put he has put up a lot of amazing numbers from high school to uh well JBA doesn't really count, but you know like for the most part he's a scorer. He knows how to score the ball. Right. So um hopefully he gets a chance to actually show what he can do. Cause me personally I've I've I'm a big uh ball fan ball family fan. Like mm-hmm. I I support those those people. Like I fuck with Levar. I love how annoying he is to to people. I Levar be annoying. I don't know. He's <laughs> He's gotten to the point where, like, bro. it's like, all right, like, why'd you even say that? Like, <laughs> like, he was actually on, um, what show was he on? I think it was, it was today, yesterday. Was, no, it was yesterday, first I think. Yeah, yeah, first things first. Uh, nigga said, <laughs> he was like, the, that his, his sons don't, then they can't have their grown man bodies yet. Because they're cork, because the mom they, is cork the mom, They blame it on the mom. <laughs> like, small folks, she's white. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first, it was on, what's 
it's undisputed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She in the show. Yeah, like, and then he was talking about how Jello is going to be a scoring leader, a scoring champion. I mean, NBA. I mean, it's possible. Don't get me wrong. Like, nothing's impossible. It's not possible. (laughs) Anything's possible, bro. I mean, you know what I'm saying? No. No. Fredo doesn't believe in it. I don't believe in it. That's it. Like, I wouldn't both bet on it, but I'm just saying anything's possible, bro. Man, I I just, I. I actually want to see all three boy brothers in the NBA and be successful in the NBA at that on some, you know, holiday brother shit. But they're probably going to be even hot, bigger in terms of stardom because of... Of course, they're already bigger in stardom. Oh, yeah. There's, like, basketball fans that don't know all three holiday mm-hmm. brothers are in the league. But, mm-hmm. yeah, LeVar is just... Like, I feel like LeVar just loves these moments because it gets him chances to just be relevant again. Like, oh, they talk about my son? Hey, Skip. Because <laughs> you can't go to ESPN no more. He can't. Nigga was banned. Yeah, yeah. He was banned because of a comment that, you know, I feel was misconstrued. It was heavily. Um, Does it start towards Molly? It was. It was, it was towards, towards my son, Jalen Rose's shorty. That's um, probably why. Cause what, what, what was he? What, did, what exactly did he say? Um, he said something. It's something that came off in a sexual yeah. manner towards her. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, we could change gears anytime. Yeah, yeah, something like that to that effect. And I was like... I mean, I see what you're going for, but no, it wasn't. I wouldn't let that ban the man from the game. Well, yeah, man, he he'll, he'll be on ESPN eventually. I doubt it. No, nah, I doubt it's it. over. Lifetime ban? Not lifetime, but for what? Eventually, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yo, know? especially when he's uh when uh Lamelo and all that is in the league, number one pick. Hopefully, the Knicks. Um, I don't even know who's going number one anymore because. There's a whole bunch of people like Cole Anthony stock then dropped, so he not even. I don't even know if he yeah, top bro, ten. Cole, no, no, Cole Anthony definitely gonna get drafted in the top ten. I just feel like it's not gonna be as high as it was prior. Nah, to for sure, for sure, because he got that bad new North Carolina team stink on him. Ain't they like nine and like thirty seven? They're not shit. even five hundred. Yeah, yeah, fucking terrible this year. They're not five hundred this year. It's crazy, because I never thought a team like North Carolina would ever be in that predicament. But I guess. Uh, and, yeah, Duke hasn't really been going going crazy like. Uh, I mean, Duke is still in a winning position. Though. Yeah, like, but it's like people people been questioning. Um, they definitely. Coach I don't Cade. think. I don't think they'll be like. They're definitely not a championship team this year for sure, mm-hmm. but they're definitely like a third but, third round of March Madness. But it's like, because last time they won the championship was what two thousand fifteen. And Which is not that long ago. It's not, but when you have the team that you had last year, that that definitely should have been national championship. That team should have won. Um, that team should have won. Uh, but but it's, I mean, the game they lost kind of went down to the wire. It wasn't like they lost on some, you know what I'm saying? Like I smoked or something. Yeah. Yeah, but that Zion, RJ, and Cam, bro, that that should have been uh, that should have been. It should have, but you know things happen. Yeah. Teams prepare. You know what I'm saying? It's. It's hard. But people have been coming at Coach K, and he he uh, his rebuttal was, look at the rafters and Cameron. That would be mine. Look at the rafters. Like when people started talking about Kobe, Kobe was like. <laughs> nah, man, rest in peace, Kobe. Right. Um, but, yeah, what's his name? Cassius, Cassius Stanley? Yeah. It, like, he was, what, a top five prospect coming into? No, he wasn't top five? No, nah, he was only like a four-star prospect. Really? Yeah. He just had LeBron Cole sign. He just had yeah. like a lot of popularity and stuff. Yeah, because he could dunk. He's like Matt. He's he can, his hops is crazy. I was, I was looking at his stats the other day. And I was like, yeah, yeah, his hops is crazy. I didn't think he'd be as good as he is currently. To right. be honest, I, he's playing better than I thought he would. I thought the team was gonna have to go through Trey Jones, which it kind of does, but it's gonna. I thought it was gonna go through Trey Jones and um Vernon Carey. I I really don't feel like. Uh, I hope he proves me wrong. But I don't feel like Trey Jones gonna really do much in the next level. Probably gonna be a late first round, early mm-hmm. second round. Yeah, he's definitely not. He's. A better defensive player than he is offensive player for sure, but I just don't know how. Like you know, you need some type of offensive upside in the in the league unless you Patrick Beverly who keeps getting yeah. it. Patrick Beverly a bum, but um <laughs> regardless, if you um you need some type of like Pat some type of uh sorry offensive repertoire. What team is Tyrus on? Tyus, um, he had recently got moved. He's on the Grizzlies. Grizzlies now, I think. Shit, I don't even know, bro. Last last time I remember, he was on the Wolves, but I feel like no, nah, yeah, he got moved from the Wolves. I'm pretty sure he's on the Grizzlies now, though. I'm pretty sure he's on the Grizzlies. I don't know. Like I feel like I've seen him watch. I feel like I've seen him play not too long ago. Shit, well, you uh had something. I didn't really read into it much about the the conversation that Tom Brady and Bill Belichick had. You said that it was an uh, unproductive yeah, conversation. Apparently, I mean, reports came out today. I think it came from Ian Rappaport. I might be wrong. But basically it said that they had a phone call and it was 
not it didn't end in a good like there was no productivity pro- yeah like it was just like you know basically they're saying like it's a high chance Tom Brady you know might go fuck around and leave yeah I mean like not a high chance I mean that's what they would expect but you know just basically saying like there was no solidify like hey you're coming back next year mm-hmm. type talks it was just a you know so it's everything still up in the air right but I mean there are places for Tom Brady to be I mean we already had that talk where we feel like he could go you know what I'm saying and honestly as much as I don't really want to see him anywhere else cause it's just gonna feel weird especially towards the end of his career it's like I don't I don't know I just never been a fan of that whole leaving your team like at the end at the end like I feel like if you gotta go somewhere else you might as well call it quits but I can't tell somebody who's an athlete and loves to play the game you know to go retire because the team that does you want to be on doesn't want you but um, yeah for sure like he'll definitely play next season I just don't know if it's gonna be in the Patriots uniform shit I mean you know I don't, I don't fuck with the Patriots regardless but it would be weird to see him in any other jersey um, but from the reports that have been coming in it was like I seen the rest of some shit this morning it was like oh like Eight to ten teams are ready to sign Tom Brady right now. Thirty-two teams are ready to sign Tom Brady right and now. The Giants better not even think about it. I would think about you it. Nope. I'd think about it, bro. He he would be leaving the bets to come to a Giants team that's not that much better. All right, but we win more, so I'll take the W's. Do you think we win more? Yes, with Tom Brady. Hey. First of all, Tom Brady doesn't fumble every time somebody touches him. <laughs> Start there, and then two better decision making. You know what I'm saying? It's he's a season he's a seasoned veteran. Like, Do you believe in Danny Jones? Like, if you, if I believe he can get better. Would you? I don't know if he's a franchise quarterback yet, but I do believe he can get better. Would you draft Tua if you had that pick? Nah, not no, no. Nah. There's nothing that Tua did that I feel like Danny Jones can't become. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know that two is so many miles better than Danny Jones at this point mm-hmm. for me to draft him and start from square one again with an, a rookie quarterback. Like, that's a big, that's a big step back. Yeah. And also, Dwayne Haskins is looking like he might be on the uh, chopping block or on the moving block at least, or maybe not the moving block, but just might not be the starter next year because they did say that the Redskins were really considering drafting a quarterback with their um, two, yeah, number two, two pick. I really think that would really feel like that would be a, a big mistake on their part. Especially like you, you have, I feel like you have to draft Chase Young if he's on the board. Like if, if Joe is not on the board, you have to draft Chase Young. But the Redskins management hasn't been the best over the years. The name of the team is still the Redskins. Yeah, I don't. So, I, mean, I don't know what you <laughs> expect, but Regardless, I feel like it's definitely. I already said it um, last week. I think it was. I really think that is going to be a mistake because I don't see Dwayne Haskins. Like I don't see it being that bad to go with him for this year. Like to really have him work as the number one QB and really get him into the, you know, flow of the offense for real and have him knowing and the confidence that you're behind him. You know what I'm saying? But I don't run the team, so. <laughs> With that being said, it is what it is. Have you been uh, keeping up with XFL at, at any, any nah. point? No. Did you? So there was like, I think it was week one or two with a quarterback. Like, so you know, um, I don't know if you do know, but they do like in game interviews with like the quarterbacks. Yeah, and the it's weird. And it's kind of hard to get used to. Um, and you can hear the plays yeah, and shit. But they, they interviewed the quarterback, and the quarterback was basically like, oh, this offense is terrible. Like, basically. Shitting on the coach and the game. Like he was saying, like the offensive game like the, plan. Yeah, the game plan is like shit, basically. Oh, shit. And then they interviewed the coach right after, and then they interviewed the quarterback again. He was talking more shit, <laughs> and then he threw a pick after he he like I think he threw a two two or three picks that game. Then he got benched, and it was just it was just a lot. Like, and I just thought it was interesting that the XFL is gonna really put a, a magnifying glass on tension and stuff like that. I mean, that's kind of cool in a sense. I'm not gonna lie. I, that, that's that's kind of cool. Like, it's almost like it's kind of yeah. Like, that that was the biggest thing. He that didn't back it up. I mean, Polish. if the game plan was trash, I mean, what are we supposed to do? Wow. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of cool. Like, it's, it gives off a wrestling vibe. Definitely. Like, you can tell like Vince McMahon is behind this, but because like that's what they do in wrestling, the WWE. Vincent. But 
it gives off a different vibe for football for sure. Like you're not used to seeing that because used to be in a lot of speculations and a lot of this, that, and the third. But they don't have that media coverage like that. So I guess that's their way of like being like, look, this is what's going on, and they're giving like real detail from like real player perspective, real coach perspective. I still can't get jiggy with them calling the plays out loud. Yes, so it's kind of weird. And the whole kickoff or either punt one or the other is still weird to me. But hey, you got to change up something, right? I just hope that. This like these type of situations don't take away from the actual football, right? You know, because that's what's gonna make the the shit succeed. So, I mean, I mean, I'm I'm in full support of the XFL. You know, but I usually don't watch it unless like I'm in the gym or some shit like that. Yeah, it gotta be nothing else on. Uh, but yeah, Vince Vince McMahon. Speaking of Vince McMahon, he's a really interesting character. Like I know you don't really follow wrestling much these days, but he has a tendency to throw a lot of money to old ass wrestlers like talking five hundred thousand to million dollars for just a match like i'm talking about goldberg in particular you remember goldberg yes i remember goldberg, goldberg is like 54 55 years old bro can he pick anybody up at nope. this point nope no so he could barely pick anybody up so goldberg and the undertaker so they have goldberg, goldberg. And- listen 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 so the wwe has i think a 10 year contract with saudi arabia to throw events like twice a year like twice a year or whatever so because of that they ha- they get extra money in their pockets and they like to um give it to those bigger names mm-hmm. so they can fill the seats all of these shows have been fucking bad. Like, all of them. Yeah, who would see all that flab? Goldberg and Undertaker fought, like, in the last or two events ago. It was deemed the worst match. Like, because who's it I, was bad. Whose idea is this? Vince McMahon. Like, this it's a, Vince McMahon. That's a... Yo, you suck. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and now the most recent event was last week, and they had Goldberg come back. Nobody asked for that. And take the nobody the, asked for Goldberg period. Nobody, nobody, and take the main title off of a young, like star, which is a issue that you know Vince McMahon has. Like he's so focused on the older people that he doesn't build for the next generation. You know what I mean? It's just I feel like that's just a big mistake. I'm disgusted. I, I'm disgusted, bro. Because I don't even want to see Goldberg wrestle. Go, bro, have a title. He and and the thing is, he doesn't even really wrestle. Like he spears you like three three times. That he tries to do like his jackhammer move, and that's it. Like he literally has two moves, and he's getting paid millions of dollars to do two so moves. So what does he do in the whole match? That's it, bro. Like his matches are usually like three minutes. Like it's that's bad television. It's bad. And television. He's probably out of shape. Nah, oh, no, he's, he's not. He's right. a, a okay. shit. It's still. The steroids. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the steroids. But I just it's I, Vince McMahon. He's getting so old that thought process like thought processes like that it worries me because i hope it doesn't you know affect the xfl where he is thinking like a crazy old man because that's a crazy old man thought bro oh, let me give bill goldberg millions of dollars to do a three-minute match nobody's asking for that <laughs> so i hope the xfl doesn't get affected by vince mcmahon's retarded thinking hey he's a he's a genius but he's retarded at the same time I mean, yeah, he definitely needs some advisors in his corner, yeah. or to listen to the advisors. In but his it's corner. like he's—he's he's the I got the final word. You know, he's the boss man, so there's only so much you can say. That's yuck. It is. But moving on, um, <laughs> one thing we haven't done on here is, in terms of the NBA at least, is debate our top five all time. So when you say top five all time, do you mean top five favorite, like personal yeah. favorites, or like the top five that we actually think are the top five? Best players in the NBA ever. I Is think. Favorite, I, like I feel like the favorite might be the favorite. Truth. Yes, let's go with the favorite. Okay, you want to go first? You want me to go first? Sure. Um, off the top, Stephon Marbury. He was one of the main reasons why I even started. Is that five or is that? Or is this order or is this? Random? Um, I don't know if I could put it in order. So random. Okay. So I'm just gonna just name him. But Stephon Marbury was like I would say my first favorite player. Mm-hmm. Like when he. I've been watching the Knicks since like 99, 2000, and he, he came in the Knicks in 2004 from the Nets, and like, I was watching the Knicks like more thoroughly when Stefan was on the team, and that's For when sure. we had Jamal and shit, um, and he's from Brooklyn, like I followed his story, I followed Sebastian Telfair's story, that was another one of my favorite players, but he didn't really do much in the NBA, sadly, um, so Stefan for sure, Kobe Bryant, like that's... Don't even need to explain that one. Um, LeBron, 
which you know I had a love hate relationship with LeBron over the years, but for, sure. for the most part, I just hated LeBron when he went to Miami. Yeah, bro, I, I ain't <laughs> like that. I ain't like that. I was I was anti LeBron for sure. I, I, I gotta admit that, but that's just because I felt like he sold himself short, and because he didn't come to the mix. But whatever. Um, so that's three. Um, hmm. I want to say Jamal Crawford, but. You, you say three. Let me think of the other two. All right. So, off rip, niggas know I rock with D-Wade. That's my right, favorite Right. That's player. your favorite player, yeah. Oh, I'm bucket. You already know my favorite player. I'm smack, <laughs> bro. But, yeah. All time, D-Wade is my favorite player. Um, Now, I got to go Allen Iverson. Mm. He's just my guy. Like, he's the re- he, – Allen Iverson created, like, my swag as a child. No he funny. created millions of swag. My, yeah. Like, I just – I for, she formulated the way I play ball after Allen Iverson. As a kid, at least. Now I move more so towards like a Chris Paul, D Wade. He plays nothing actually. like Chris Paul, or D Wade. I definitely do. I definitely do. Play. You're right. Yeah, he play like Chris Paul, the D Wade. Yeah. <laughs> so who I play like? I don't know. Who. Nah, yeah, dumb niggas. <laughs> I play like somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay attention. The facts. You play mad fundamental. You don't play like that. He dribbles so straight. <laughs> Facts, you play like Tony Parker. <laughs> I don't play like Tony Parker. <laughs> the floater is kind of Tony Parker ish. It's not Tony Parker ish. <laughs> it's not D Rose ish. Tony could be doing worse. Yo, I'm never going to forget niggas is playing Park <laughs> and Pops picked Tony Parker of all people, bro. <laughs> like 2K18. In 2K, too. like 18, 17. Like, it, it was, Ew. Yo. <laughs> Pisses me off to this day. My fault to cut you off. So you um, said D Wade, you said Allen Iverson. Um, who else? Tony Parker. <laughs> it might be It might be a guard lineup here Nah um, Definitely gotta go Jordan For sure I feel like you ain't even Watch enough Jordan To say that though I mean Who hasn't watched Jordan Like clips but, and shit bro? Uh, He can't uh, He can Everybody's inspired by it's Jordan your, It's your top five It's your top five You, feel me? you got the sneakers You feel yeah, me it's yeah, Like all I wear is Jordans Okay you feel me? Okay um, and I, That's three So go ahead uh, I'm sticking number four uh, I, I wanna say a big man you already had though. Huh? You, you smack because you already had one as soon as you said D Wade. No, but that's my final one because that's oh. my favorite player. But I, I'm trying to think of the fourth person. Okay. Um, maybe I, 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 Alan Iverson might be up there. Nah. Carmelo Anthony. I'm going to put Melo in my top five. That's just like a selfish top five. Like, obviously, he's not a top five player. but um, And you already know my motherfucking favorite player of all time. D Rose. <laughs> So that's my fucking god, man. Oh, yeah. He's still playing productive in that badass Detroit Pistons team. Shouts out to D Rose, man. Hopefully he leaves that team. Bro, next his season. ankles is shaky. Man, he played mad games this season. He ain't missed a lot. Not really. He still missed a decent. He ain't missed a lot. Either way, um, who I got left? Um, I had D Wade, AI, MJ. Um, I guess I gotta go with Kobe. I think I hated Kobe so much because I loved him. I think that's why what it was. I think sometimes you don't know you love somebody. <laughs> sometimes you guys don't know when you love somebody. But um, yeah, definitely got to throw Kobe in there. And then I guess I gotta finish out the list with Braun. Braun. I gotta finish out the list with Braun. Hey, Amen. Got to. That the things that he's doing at thirty five, shit don't make no sense. Facts going on thirty six. About to be thirty six years old in December. Hopefully, he's a four time champion by his thirty sixth birthday. You know, that's what I'm hoping for. Nah, I think this year is his. It has. To, it's like Ray said. It's written. It's, it's written. It, it might be it's written. In the cards. It might be written. Bro. I hope, man. Fingers crossed. Cause it ain't gonna be the Knicks. Goddamn. 2028 Knicks trip. 2028. That's what. Hey, put that. I'm put that putting it on social head. media now, so it's real. I, I put that. Jackie, put in your bio. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that shit in 2028 eight, NBA for eight years. Oh my God, that's filthy. <laughs> <laughs> Eight years, the same bio. But I mean, with that being said, uh, I feel like that's a good way to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Yeah, this this slow week of Sport. sports. I don't play like Tony Parker. He plays exactly like Tony Parker. Guys. I don't do it in circles underneath <laughs> the paint. If anything, I play more like like a like a, I don't know Tony Parker, <laughs> like a D'Angelo Russell or something like that. Another player that's like more like fundamental. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. All right, y'all. It's another episode of Not Gonna Lie. We're gonna holler at y'all, you heard? Yeah.